Hi, I'm Adam from DunoDrama.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to import brushes from Photoshop into After Effects. Now, After Effects doesn't actually have any inbuilt method of importing Photoshop brushes, but there's a little workaround that you can sort of cheat and get them to work, which is kind of cool. Um, first, we need to go into Photoshop and we're going to open a new document. Good file new. And we're going to create, I'm going to create quite a big document so that I can fit my brush on. And also make sure that the background contents are transparent. That's very important. And click OK. And we have our document. Now, to select your brush, you just click on the paintbrush tool and then select the brush that you want to use. I'm going for this blood splatter type effect. Now, make sure that you set the color to white is very important and you'll see why later then I always like to line it up to one of the corners so that when we crop the image it's a bit easier and you just use your brush go to crop if it's sort of just to make sure that it's just about the right size then you double click in the area you want to keep and it crops the image for you now we're going to save this image but we're going to have to do it in a special way save as and then let's just call it blood5 now the important part is to make sure you save it as a png because that will record all of the transparency data within the image and you just click save and okay now we need to go over to after effects this is just a blank document that i've got in after effects and we're just going to import that image. Now you can do that by double clicking in this area in the library window or it's going to file, import and then file. I'm going to click on my blood splatter or my blood 5 PNG and then open that. Now we're going to need a composition to put this into. Now I'm first going to show you a problem that I came across. So this is the way not to do it and then I'll show you the way how to do it after. Now if you create a composition, I'm just going to select a preset, a widescreen preset, and click OK. Now if you drag this blood splatter into your composition, you'll notice it seems a bit squished up when you compare it with the actual image and then the widescreen composition. Now this plagued me for a while and I couldn't understand why it did it until I discovered that if you when creating a composition, if you set it as a widescreen as this one is, the pixel ratio is 1.46 and the pixel ratio of the image is 1. So the pixels don't line up. So the way that you should do it, this is a little tip, if you select that then you will be able to see all of the the um, size data when you create your composition, when you click the new composition button. And you can make sure that you get line it up perfectly. and make sure that you set the pixel aspect ratio to square pixels and also if you name it the same thing as your image it, you, then you know which composition is for which image and you can just drag that in there and it should fit perfectly there you have it now I have been calling this blood and it doesn't look very much like blood at the minute because it's white now we're going to add an effect to this to make it look more like blood now if we go to effects and then color correction and then change color it will open up the effects control window over here now there's a few presets we need to change if we set the light transform to minus 50 the saturation transform to 100 then the color to change to white as you can see already it's changed it to red we just use the hue transform here to change the color of our blood splatter to whatever color you want it to be so you can do this with any brush and you can change your brush to any color you like uh, zero was red so i'm quite happy with that now you've got your brush set up you can go to the project library back here again you can create your main composition now as you're doing this remember to make sure that you set your aspect ratio to be a square pixel if you're going to be using widescreen so that your composition will of your blood will match up with your main composition 
and you can just drag that in there and you can apply any effects that you would like to apply to your brush like you can with any composition you can add masking effects or whatever I've been Adam from doodlerdrum.com and I've just shown you how to import Photoshop brushes into After Effects.